All right, the Bitcoin price right now is absolutely not doing anything. So let's instead talk about the next Bitcoin bull market because it is likely going to come up here next year around this time. So we have the halving, of course, coming up here next year around April. And a lot of people have already been speculating about where Bitcoin could potentially go here in the next few years here moving forward. Now, personally, I don't think we're going to go up here to what, like $1 million per Bitcoin, but I do think that we can be substantially up from where we are trading right now. And so personally, as I've been saying here in the last few videos, I am looking to buy Bitcoin. I still think we're going to go dip a little bit lower. It does look like Bitcoin have lost a bunch of momentum. Of course, we had the BlackRock news and it seems like Bitcoin has completely retraced that news. So in my opinion, well, if BlackRock cannot pump Bitcoin to the upside, what potentially can so we are right now seeing that bitcoin is probably going to come down here to some lower levels probably twenty thousand two dollar and then eventually we're going to get the halving and then we're going to get that push here further to the upside here and that is probably going to take place again around the summer or maybe even a fall here of next year and that will be a few months after the halving so what you generally see is you have the halving and then a few months after that you generally see the bull thread eventually start here to the upside now something that we have to keep into account and this especially happened here last bull market is that a lot of money that actually could have gone and gone into bitcoin went into altcoins went into nfts and a lot of money that you know just vaporized turned into scams and sadly you know again money that could have gone into bitcoin and actually increasing the probability that Bitcoin is going to be adopted. Instead, it went into scams. That's very, very sadly, and that is something that we have to keep in mind here. Probably next bull market, people are going to come up with some kind of AI coins or stuff like that, or banking coins, and it's going to suck a lot of value from Bitcoin, and that is probably going to result in Bitcoin not getting that significant amount of gains that we're probably hoping for, because I think a lot of you guys are probably expecting maybe, you know, a 10x gain, a 20x gain, like we have seen in the past, but in my opinion, that's quite unlikely. Personally, I think that we're probably going to go down here to about five thousand, uh, to, to about twenty thousand US dollar, and then I think we're probably going to get some kind of a five hundred percent move to the upside from the bottom here, which was around seventeen thousand US dollar. Now the thing is, is that just generally speaking, we've seen like Bitcoin, for instance, over here we saw this having a sixty sixty thousand percent here move to the upside. This was a thirteen thousand, and this was only about a two thousand. So you're seeing that the volatility is very very much decreasing, and the pullbacks are actually not really decreasing that much so we did see that you know just not counting in here the ftx correction we only had like a 75 percent correction into the downside so maybe next bull market that is going to be something like a 70 percent or maybe like a 65 percent correction here to the downside personally i think at minimum we could expect something like hundred thousand US dollar this is if the fed doesn't print a crazy amount of money personally i would call this here the completely here the safest scenario and that is again if the fed doesn't print any kind of money or we don't see any kind of big collapse in the monetary system then i think hundred thousand US dollar would be a very very normal target and then again we would see some kind of a 70 percent pullback or 65 percent pullback so let's just say like a 65 percent pullback that would bring us here back to about thirty thousand US dollar we may actually see that bitcoin is going to slightly break here the autumn high but then eventually break it to the downside again not significant gains and that is just personally because here we have seen that the moves here to the upside they only get like one sixth of what it has been in the past and that would only give us like a 500 400 percent move to the upside which isn't big now this is again in my opinion the least bullish prediction out there that would still make us like i don't know from here it would still make like a 400 percent gain which means that you would outperform inflation which probably means you would outperform the stock market so again if you are looking at the price right now of you know if you're looking at the target here of 100 US dollar and you think that's bearish from now on that could still be a 400 percent gain so absolutely don't think that this is something like a bad opportunity you probably still outperform things like stock market gold whatever easily so hundred thousand dollar would still be quite a bullish thing here for bitcoin it wouldn't be the 20x that we have seen in the past but again that would still be quite nice now if the fed were to print a bunch of money then of course we could see much and much higher targets but it also kind of depends what happens here with the altcoin if Elon musk when all the influencers out there, they start promoting NFTs and altcoins again, then it probably means that a lot of value that could have gone into Bitcoin is probably going to be again sucked away. And then Bitcoin is also not going to reach some significant higher targets. I don't think Bitcoin is going to do like a 20, 20x or a 10x or anything like that. I think that the next bull market is probably going to be quite underwhelming. And I think in the future, bull markets are not going to be that overwhelming as we've seen in the past. Volatility is likely going to decrease. And that might sound very, very sad, but again, if you hold a bunch of Bitcoin and have been able to accumulate a bunch of Bitcoin in the past, even if we were going to go to hundred thousand dollar, if you only have a few Bitcoin, that would still make you almost like a millionaire. And if you have a big bag of Bitcoin, you have more than 10, that of course would make you a millionaire. And just a few years ago, that would have only been like 20,000 US dollar. So 
Again, if we go to 100,000 US dollar, that just wouldn't be a very, very bearish thing in my opinion. Now, if the Fed were to print money, or we see some kind of collapse in the monetary system, which is kind of what we're seeing right now, is we're seeing that China's ordering their banks and funds to buy stocks. Now, why are they doing this? Of course, we have seen some real estate companies in China collapse, and it seems that the stock market's also not really doing that great. And the whole Chinese economy is completely over leveraged. They have ETFs and funds that are completely over leveraged as well. And if the stock market were to dive, then that could probably cause a chain reaction here in the Chinese economy. So the Chinese are really printing money or they're just ordering their banks here to buy stocks, but it's just an alternate, alternative way here of providing liquidity. It's probably going to happen as well here in the US here moving forward. We're already seeing that Trump is winning in the polls and Trump has already said that, he, that he's going to fire Jay Paul. So potentially a change as well in monetary stance. But of course we have seen already the banks breaking here in the US and that resulted in a slight bump here in the balance sheet. If I'm actually going to look here at the balance sheet, let me actually see if I can open it up here. This is Deutsche Bank that is completely wrong. This is the balance sheet. We actually saw a slight, dump, uh, slight bump here already here in the balance sheet. But yeah, banks could collapse here still at any moment in time. Pension funds could collapse. A lot of st stuff can still go wrong. So I think that probably around next year, you are going to see that the money printer is turned on. And then you could see, you know, probably a target above 100,000 US dollar in my opinion, maybe 150,000. And maybe the most bullish thing would probably be like 200,000 US dollar. But again, you have to understand that there are plenty of people who bought a bunch of Bitcoin here back only a few years ago, only four years ago, or back in 2019, probably loaded up on a bunch of Bitcoin, probably have more than 10 Bitcoin, and they would then at that point become a multimillionaire, even though their investment in 2019 would have been relatively small. So you have to understand that Bitcoin is going to go push above $100,000. A lot of these people are probably going to take profits, which means that Bitcoin is not going to be able to push much above that level. We must need a significant reason why anyone in the right mind would buy Bitcoin at $100,000. And if the whole monetary system just continues to work as it does right now, I think it's very, very unlikely that we're going to see significant buyers. And instead, I think we would probably see a lot of sellers around that level. So that's the reason why I don't think Bitcoin is going to push here above $100,000. Again, if Bitcoin were to go to $20,000, that would still be up be like a 500% gain. And if you were to buy right now, it would be like 400% gain. So it would still outperform stocks and anything, anything out there. And I think it's quite a safe bet looking at what has Bitcoin done in the past. Of course, not financial advice. Yeah, let's see. Last thing I want to talk about here is Binance. So I've already said here in the last few videos that I think Binance is a little bit shady. And I constantly get comments, people saying like, hey, I have my coins on Binance. I think Binance is fine. Guys, understand that exchanges collapsing has happened in the past. FTX, a lot of people lost money, Blockify, we had of course Luna as well, and what, what else we had, we had Celsius, and then we had Mt. Gox, exchanges collapsing has happened quite a bit, and the thing is, is with Binance, and you just look at BNB, I am sorry, but that just looks incredibly sketchy to me, the fact that it just hasn't dumped it to the downside, and the fact that it's just trading here, still around like bull market territory levels, it almost seems like Binance is doing the same trick as FTT, because it, you kind of look at the both of these coins and they just look incredibly, incredibly similar. Right over here as well, we saw FT, FTT here trading sideways, pretty much around the same level and then the collapse happened. Now, I'm not saying that Binance is going to collapse. I have no idea. I don't want to cause any kind of a bank run. I'm just saying exchanges have, have collapsed in the past. BNB just looks a little bit weird here to me. And if it were to collapse, well, it wouldn't surprise me as it has happened before with other exchanges. You can get your coins out of an exchange, again, it should be completely fine. If the exchange functions completely normally, then keep a small amount of the coins that you can lose on an exchange for trading and the rest of them, get them out of there. Again, I don't wanna say here that to get, your, to get your coins out of Binance, I don't know if it's going to collapse. I have no inside news. I don't wanna steer any kind of potential even possibility, but I'm just saying that I personally think it's a little bit shady. I've been doing some research into Binance and it definitely wouldn't surprise me that something is going to happen to that company, but again, this accounts for every single exchange out there, you know, even Bybit or other exchanges, get your coins out of them, get it in a wallet. I personally use cold card here to store my Bitcoin, get them on a private wallet and don't keep these coins on an exchange. Anyway, with that in mind, I want to end this video here. Again, I think that the next target for Bitcoin is probably going to be somewhere around 100,000 US dollars, which would still be a 400% gain here. I think that would be quite a safe bet. Actually, again, no financial advice, but personally, I don't really think that we're gonna go like do a, like a 20x gain, maybe not even like a 10x gain, but again, it will be a 400% gain. You still outperform stock market, gold and all the stuff like that, and probably as well inflation. So in my opinion, I still think there's plenty of profit here to be made, but 
not as big as we have seen in the past. So this was the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys, of course, in my next video. Bye bye.